The endorsement isn't just some kind of standalone stamp, um, it's a reflection, um, it's kind of the seal uh, that you passed through all of those hurdles and that you're a legitimate candidate. On Tuesday, the Republican Party took part in several local and national primaries with all of the endorsed candidates taking home the win, including House Speaker Kurt Doubt, Cal Barr, Representative Tom Emmer and Jason Lewis. It really is a non-establishment year and so we're, uh, we're very gratified that we can could be that vehicle for the voters. The party endorsement wasn't always as strong. Keith Downey, chairman of the Republican Party of Minnesota, who took on his role when the endorsement was questionable due to the party going severely in debt, says last night's results show the Republican endorsement is once again a powerful thing for candidates to have on their side. The endorsement, I think, has always meant a lot, um, but as compared to three years ago or so where people were really questioning it and whether there was really any value, uh, any ability that the party or the local districts had to help you as a candidate, they questioned that. And I, I hope after last night people will question that less. One of the most notable primary wins by a party-endorsed candidate last evening was that of Republican Jason Lewis. Lewis took down three contenders to be the candidate on the ticket to take on Democrat Angie Craig in November. The seat is open due to Congressman John Klein retiring. Lewis says he plans to topple Craig by convincing voters of her far left agenda. If you recall, Angie Craig was sort of the Bernie Sanders candidate of the Democrat Party. There was a more moderate Democrat in. They cleared the way for a hardcore left wing candidate. And that is not where the voters of the second district are. And we're going to point that out. Chairman Downey says the race between Craig and Lewis is of vital importance, not only to Minnesotans, but to Americans as well. It's an open seat and it is arguably one of maybe a couple dozen uh, true swing districts in the country. Um, and so it's going to be a tough, hard-fought battle. Now that all of the Republican candidates have been chosen, Downey says they are focused on getting voters to see how the Republican platform can benefit the state and country. Subscribe to Alpha News for continued election coverage. For Alpha News, I'm Julia Aaron.